Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and glad to see you back uh, Cyber Angel and new viewers, welcome to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button and bell then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live on Monday and on Friday in English and on Wednesday I go live in the Dutch language as this is a bilingual channel. Um, and the family is growing rapidly so nearly 2,000 uh, followers I'm really really chuffed and grateful for everybody sharing and liking thank you very much uh, my cyber angels and I miss you um, but I, I can't go live every day because as you've most probably noticed if you follow me um, it is quite exhausting and the readings are more extensive nowadays that's because um, they, they it just happens that's one way and the second uh, reason is is that YouTube says uh, uh, to be uh, recognized uh, in the um, alpha rhythm the search robot make your videos somewhat longer so that's an advantage to you too as well and um, it also you'll get more information and uh, it makes more sense um, I like quality and not quantity and uh, you most probably have noticed that there is a series uh, the vlog with the real life witch what's the difference between a, uh, a witch and a homeopathist or an aromatherapist or an other therapist and next week I promise you next week is going to be even better than la this week uh, la this last week um, it is really exciting and it's all because I got a deck from Marla Brooks the witch's oracle that instigated all this and I've got to get on with the reading really because the dusk is here and I j otherwise there won't be any more light for me to film so let me just put that uh, alongside so that you can see the pictures clearly I'll, uh, I'll show you the picture anyway um, but uh, if you need more information there's information below uh, this video how to get into contact with me and also the the, rim, uh, the explanation in, of the heading and also you can find a little white, white circle here that will take you to the website then you can see what I've been working on and there you can also see the review on this deck the enchanted dream tarot deck from Yasmin uh, Westwood I had I was honored to have an interview with her this week and she's absolutely amazing and she's also lifted up uh, or uh, lifted up the corner of the veil uh, she told us uh, some secrets so there's loads of beautiful things to look forward to but until then I will have to use this deck um, there's lots more new new decks coming where I'll be doing reviews on that as well and I'm also collaborating with other uh, creators on YouTube and I have to twig the uh, what you call it, the uh, technical side as well. Um, I I want to. Uh, uh, my wish is that I can collaborate live on screen with other readers, or do interviews live, that, and then have your reactions. That would be amazing. Okay, so we're going to start off. Uh, with the uh, what you call it, uh, the first card, and your first card is the eight of wands. So that means that you might be traveling. Although everything is in lockdown, I'm not going to go into that, into the crisis. I'm not going to feed it any kind of energy um, because it's here and it will go as well. And I hope you're all well and surviving uh, boredom of not traveling. But I think you will be traveling. It could be to work, it could be to uh, a family that needs you, or 
let's see what the cards have in store for you Sagittarius but definitely there's a lot of news coming uh, things will be starting to happen for you all at once it doesn't rain it pours it pours with information or news coming towards you you might be taking a short break you might be traveling or also you might be going up a next level because in this card it looks more like the wheel of fortune every spoke of a bike bike spokes that's how I see it so you might be going up a level in something you might be getting news on a promotion or something and then you've got the two of ones and you are making plans for the future which road are you going to take perhaps you're going to get news about a study okay because you have planted seeds and you will be getting news on Monday it could be on Wednesday as well because you've planted seeds and it has taken time to grow as you've got the seven of Pentacles yes when you sow seeds it takes time to grow and to come out of the earth and spring open okay and to take to grow and blossom and then you can harvest perhaps it might be something that you are passionate about that is coming in because you've got the ace of cups which means your cup is going to flow over again I said loads is happening on Monday this could be love this could be a new love this could be a new passion because the cups stands for love passion nurturing sensuality and sexuality okay so you might start a new job or you've been nurturing an idea because you've got the idea card and you've planted the seeds and it's coming to life and you've been nurturing it this new project this project that you're passionate about or that you love to do perhaps a career perhaps a study then you have the ten, eight of pentacles you've got recognition you've been working really hard and diligently so you are getting the results definitely in the harvest you've come from a seven to the eight you've got recognition you might start a new study like I said you might have been making plans and it's coming to fruition your study is going to start now you've got the king of swords upside down now in this deck you don't see men but it was also lying upside down now the king of swords represents Gemini so there might be a Gemini that's giving you re, uh, recognition for your dil uh, diligence and hard work that you've been progressing um, okay you might be have you might have started to study yourself your, your emotions how to get your emotions in balance how to uh, enhance your emotions how to open up and keep check of your emotions because of course we've also got the spiritual guide this is the hierophant you might have seeked advice from a mature person sorry Sagittarius I had to put the light on and it might look a little bit more orangey but let's keep it <laughs> because of the, it's yellow light and um, uh, it's the fire within the reading <laughs> let's see the light of the fire energy active okay this is the hierophant and you might seek advice from a mature man but although you see a woman this is because this de deck depicts and um, puts out uh, the feminine side and the woman the, that they are strong that they're respected they stand for love passion nurturing caring like mother earth and uh, yeah that, that's it you know uh, but the hierophant is also known as the high 
priest and um, uh, it also is the spiritual side is of course do, what do you believe how true are you to yourself this card also conformity uh, rules that means traditions conformity is that you have to conform to other people's ideas of how things should be and traditionally some of which that may be outdated that are, are still being followed and perhaps you have been fighting uh, with this and that's why I said how you have grown emotionally because the cups also stand for spiritually um, uh, like Pisces uh, is usually very spiritual you'll also find a lot of psychics are um, uh, Pisces but they're empaths okay so that's what you can keep in mind with this card so some of the traditional uh, things uh, might not might have made you feel awkward and you would uh, you felt entrapped uh, you might uh, you've tweaked and tweeted let me put it that way and you've made yourself different and you're feeling more comfortable in your emotions right now and you've learned perhaps you have seeked um, advice but it lies in the weekend but I th I think most of you know you uh, when you're emotionally uh, not strong that it's always right to speak to somebody else and perhaps seek a professional perhaps you might have found out your your psych you have psychic abilities by listening uh, to uh, um, tarot channels or psychic channels or you've been uh, starting to do yoga or anything that is spiritually or mysterious perhaps you feel to uh, uh, the need to uh, join some kind of path in order uh, to uh, cultivate your values um, into a more um, sturdier and steady um, way of life you want you wanted the recognition perhaps that is what the issue is perhaps you wanted recognition on the way you think and you do things because you might feel misunderstood quite a lot of the times uh, perhaps uh, you know perhaps this whole situation scares you is there a situation happening now that is the, is due to your beliefs um, that needs to, uh, try changing it on how you think about it and what effect it has on you how do you react okay so sit quietly uh, contemplate that this all uh, this card also reminds me of the hermit and also of the uh, four of swords so a spirit perhaps you need to seek a spiritual mentor uh, perhaps he might cross your road um, on the in the weekend because it is Saturday and Sunday and Sunday is a spiritual day perhaps you need to listen to uh, what a spiritual uh, mentor says to you but keep an open mind only take from it what re resonates with you you don't have to believe anything in in anybody else's way just stay yourself okay just stay yourself he also um, in the traditional cards you see keys two young men and you see keys crossed that is the subconscious that is the subconscious and the conscious and I can't I don't think I can see keys here but you do 
and I don't see the two priests because the hierophant is the cardinal or the head of the church but here you've got like the mother the nurturing caring and then you and you could take that as the conscious the here and now and the subconscious beneath her fell and beneath her it is if you take it uh, her body then it is the um, solar plex and that's emotions and then the heart which is also emotions not only an organ so listen with perhaps you've been fighting between your heart and your mind perhaps you couldn't get the balance but I think you've got the balance here because you've got the eight of pentacles and you um, uh, you've learnt you've progressed from seven to eight now you've got the six of ones again uh, that and uh, it means holiday moving home victory victory is yours you feel stronger now you feel that you are boom where you want to be you've got recognition again you've got public recognition with this card okay you've traveled it doesn't mean you don't have to do it physically but you you have traveled spiritually and mentally you've grown up you've grown up you've passed you've got the victory wow you're going forwards and upwards that is what the six of wands also means and look at this talking about balance you've got the two of pentacles you've been balancing but perhaps between heart and mind heart and soul or work and home but I think you've been battling with yourself how to get the balance and I think if you haven't yet then and you've got the king upside down that he stands the king of swords stands for mind thinking clearly justice communication to communicate with dignity and uh, with charm your intonation has improved but you can cut because you are fiery you are a fire sign you can be abrupt and you can be aggressive because action you need your person of action you need that aggression to get things done so now you can use your mind you have turned the king back up you've got the wisdom you've got the status you've got victory wow this is mind-blowing again and you've most probably got balance of finances as well you have learnt your cup is overflowing you have sown seeds and you're harvesting them bit big time wow now we're going on to uh, the Archangel Feather uh, and Archangel Michael and the uh, Angel Feather Oracle card but I'm going to take a card um, from you uh, from your reading and I'm going to take the Hierophant or known as uh, the guard guardian the guy the guide sorry I've been speaking too much sorry I'm going to give you a question or I'm going to ask you a question and if you would like to react on that below the video then you're more than welcome to and I'm going to give you a task for next week or food for thought the question is what external guidance do you need at this point in time okay that is the question what external guidance do you need at this point in time it's your mother it's the spiritual guide like a priest or a yoga teacher or a nun who knows and the task is read with an open mind a spiritual book that you normally would not read so it doesn't say or uh, I don't mean the Bible but read a spiritual book 
Like the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman and that is um, that book is such a beautiful book and I've got an other book as well I've just got to go and see what the title is hold on also by Dan Millman well here you are this book I read and it was a Bible it yeah the way of the peaceful warrior a book that changes lives it's really a wow book and then I I, I got so in in I really stuck to this book and I it, I just went I wanted to, to go deeper into this spiritual journey also to do with chakras and things like that then we've got the sacred journey of the peaceful warrior okay that is also a beautiful book and then another little book if you don't like reading uh, books then I've got Jonathan Livingston the seagull a story by Richard Bach and it's got uh, also pictures um, this is also a little Bible and it's fun you can carry it in your handbag and when you just want to um, um, read a little bit uh, a saying or something like that it, it, Jonathan is a bird a seagull and he goes on to a journey these are books from 1960s and 70s I don't even know you can see it's really I've traveled with it it's got water on it sorry about that the flight to feel free go with the wind go with the flow it's beautiful pictures the sky the divine showing light and you know I've lived in on an island in England Jersey and my mum had a seagull and she used to call it George <laughs> or Jonathan no not Jonathan George and then at the same time I got this book for some reason or rather and I got a lot of pleasure from it really beautiful and I'll read the back because I can't even remember the book anymore but it does influence you people who make their own rules when they know they are right people who get a special pleasure out of doing something well even if only for themselves people who know there is more to this work, whole living thing than meets the eye they'll be with Jonathan all the way others may simply escape into the delightful adventure about freedom and flight this book is quite simply quiet simply is unique over one million copies sold now I'll hold the I don't know whether you can see the numbers and it's called Jonathan Livingstone Seagull a story so take a photo of that and I'll just um, let you know what the ISBN number is is O dash no, oh, sorry naught dash naught naught dash six four nine zero oh, three four dash four and it is it was six pounds and that is must be back in 1976 or something it is published by let's have a look Harper Collin, Collins Publishers Harper, Collin, uh, Harper Collins Publishers 77 to 85 Fulham Palace Road in Hampshire Hammersmith London W68 Sorry, Sagittarius. 
Uh, I have missed out again. I've done a booby. Well, I'm only human. I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed that little bit of information, but I forgot the two last cards. First of all, you've got an action card. So, a line in the sand. That means boundaries. Set your boundaries and let other people know your boundaries, especially after you've done this spiritual or um, mental work okay at working on yourself so set your boundaries um, in by drawing an, a visionary line in the sand or literally doing it in the sand um, has uh, will uh, affect you mentally definitely because you are saying this far and no further so hold, hold on hold on you are um, actually forcing respect from other people that is what I mean so I'm um, just to let you hi nice to see you um, just to talk to you face to face it is just that um, you uh, have learned so much and you're getting better uh, within yourself knowing yourself that is the message here as well and a spiritual book like that um, uh, could help you. Uh, it helped me. It certainly did, especially when I started uh, with uh, the, uh, the psychic side of me, uh, the paranormal side. I didn't have anybody around me um, that uh, would talk to me about it or could talk to me about it, because it's it's just like second nature to me. And um, I I know my mum had it afterwards when she when I told her what had happened, how it started, when I was 21, my dad passed away and uh, I told her what I had seen and she said, oh, that's an ancestral body. I didn't even know what an ancestral body was and she was scared of it and she didn't do anything with it and I didn't know until I was 21. No wonder I didn't feel the same as everybody else. But I'll do a special episode on that, I think. So set your boundaries. Force respect from others by setting your boundaries. Telling them, talk to the hand. Okay, come back. And when you calm down, things like that. So you're setting your boundaries. You know your boundaries, so let others know as well. The Archangel Michael hands you his sword. This is t It is time to set an energetic boundary by symbolically drawing a line in the sand. You can do that in the garden or you can do that at the beach when you're al allowed to travel again. But I think you will be travelling. And you've got Fuchsia Angel Pink. That's the Barbie colour. New lifestyle. Definitely. You are going into a new face. Boom. Uh, let's have a look. That's your ace. You're going into a new phase. Definitely an emotional phase. You've had an, uh, a spiritual journey, as they say. A mental journey, if you don't believe in spiritual. Okay, but you must do, otherwise you wouldn't be here. The angels would like to inform you that, you, that it is time to commence preparations for a change in lifestyle or residence. I hope you can read it. It's on auto fo fo focus, so I'm sorry. But I just had to add this onto your reading. I love you. Take care. Please share.